longer involved. So the news has been better lately with new management. They have some less expensive guitars coming out, some nice reissues. They seem to have come to their senses and how to do business. They're coming back to NAM again. That's a good thing. And it looked like they had actually finished up the bankruptcy and were going to be a viable company again. And then it hit. This last week, we found out that the U.S. trustee that was overseeing the Gibson bankruptcy refused to let it out of bankruptcy. And the reason why it looked at KKR and the other private equity companies that were involved that actually took over ownership, and they thought that those companies were trying to do some financial engineering to get around paying the bills, what was owed, and even owed to the court. So they were called on it. So now this will continue at least into the new year, which should make it interesting. Avid was in the news again. It ousted its CEO, Luis Hernandez, for violations in workplace conduct. Since then, they've been pretty much out of the news, except the stock, again, has taken a beating. It's been in the 4, 5, 6 range here for the last year. 